home. I don't know about y'all. Okay, but these knees, honey. These knees. They always want to give you the coupons after you didn't pay. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today we are vlogging. I actually just picked up, I just uh, kept vlogging from the last vlog that I put up. Um, we're headed to the grocery store um, to get some uh, groceries obviously. But we tried to go yesterday before we went to Barnes & Noble and nobody had a quarter so <laughs> i was just like forget it so we're running over here because um we were running out anyway to get something to eat Aunt and i so i said let's go ahead and go over here because then i don't have to worry about doing it tomorrow um when everybody's doing it after church so um we're gonna run over here and just pick up a few things and um what else oh fun fact yesterday 
at I went to Barnes and we went to Barnes and Noble. I didn't get anything because I wasn't pressed. First off, it's hard because you have to I I, I have to vet the books um, because I only read clean, wholesome books. I'm not reading. I don't want the smut. I don't want all the things. That's that's not what I read. So with that being said, the Christian book section. Um, cause I don't really know wholesome books off the top of my head. It's easier for me to shop online for books because you get all of that. It's just easier to navigate. So in Barnes and Noble, you know, our little, our little section, they didn't have nothing that I was pressed for, you know? So I just didn't, um, get anything. I just didn't feel like it was worth it. Plus you just the paying almost paying about $20 after they add tax to $17.99 for a book that I know I can get online for $10. Even though my husband made a good point, it was like, yeah, but what about the shipping? But then I had to tell him, but who is buying one book offline? <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's that. I didn't get anything for that reason. There was just, just wasn't anything there that I wanted that bad. So, um, but it was so sweet. He has missed me, you know, that basically just means, because obviously I've been here, but I just haven't been myself because I was sick. So, he wanted to take me to a Barnes & Noble date, which... Which was great. I still enjoyed myself even though I didn't get anything. He was like, man, you're not going to get nothing? No, because I just, it can't, it don't make sense in my mind. And I just didn't want anything that bad. Had we gone to the Christian bookstore, I would have got stuff for sure. But, um, yeah, it was still, I still, you know, it was fine. I was able to, there was books that I did want to see in hand and, you know, go through read. So, I was able to do that to know if I should take them off of my TBR or not. Or, you know, so... It wasn't a waste or anything like that, but of course he wanted me to get something. But anyway, y'all, we just got to Aldi. I'm gonna pick up some, you know, just a few things, not, whoa, <laughs> not too much. Um, just because I don't wanna overspend, I don't wanna waste food, cause that is a thing. So I'm gonna just pick up a few things and then that I know that we need for sure. And then, um, we're gonna head to go grab something to eat. We got we've been in the mood for subs, um, so we're gonna go grab that and then I'm gonna get back home because I have to edit. And yeah, I don't. I think that that's probably it. But anyway, I'll see y'all in the next clip. I knew something was wrong. I didn't know. Hang on. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Quick groceries haul. Um, Bay got this. Um, he, we needed, uh, we need some dish soap. So, got that because I actually don't mind their antibacterial dish soap. It's actually decent. And he picked these up because he didn't know we had soap already. Uh, we got two cartons of eggs, some bread, hot dog buns, carrots for snacks i've been loving these especially in um yogurt i got one salad because i was wanting a salad but when i buy too many uh, the time passes and then they, i waste them i'll be wanting them got some turkey got some uh hot dogs for them three of these uh ground turkey um because i always buy ground turkey and i like buying these ones better than the square packs because these are way cheaper than square packs and they're both a pound so it just uh makes more sense i got one of these these are the only shots they had i really didn't want this one but i went ahead and got that they picked this up he wanted to give this a try and he loves those back there i picked these up i've never had them before but um i'm a fan of strawberry yogurt so um or mixed berry so i picked those up i got some strawberries because when i make a smoothie i've Lately, I've only wanted strawberries. I don't want the berry blend. We have like a bunch of different blends in the freezer, but we don't have only strawberries. And so, pick those up. Um, did I just show y'all these? These are new um, to me. I hope I like them. So, yeah. They're like little cheese balls, which makes me feel like, kind of like, um, love you. I'm gonna have to whisper, though. Right? <laughs> Bye. Um, Forgot, I forgot my train of thought, but yeah, we have these um, chips here. 
Then over here we have some pears. I am not too bougie for some cans, okay? Grew up on cans, and we are a bean house. And who is soaking beans every time we want beans? Not I, said the cat. So I got some of this sauce, and I this is new to me. I want to give this a try because um, I've been doing good. I haven't been eating rice, but I'm not a big rice person anyway. Um, and when I do want rice, I've been eating cauliflower rice, but I figured I'd go ahead and give this a try because they didn't have any regular just brown rice. Um, so I don't know. I figured I'd give this a try. I love mini cucumbers. They are my favorite. So pick those up. Got some spinach that goes quickly because I'm always eating that. Needed some more of these. We needed some American cheese. I only like getting this one because I don't like the individually wrapped cheese. I don't know what it is. It doesn't taste right. I uh, picked up two packs of this tuna because I like tuna. I know this is not good for you, but sometimes, you know, the recipe calls for it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put all of this away. I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey, y'all. So I'm going to finish editing this while I eat my food. I just ended up getting a turkey um, six inch with some, um, I was about to say french fries. <laughs> some chips these are like my favorite chips and then I also got some I got two macadamia nut um, cookies as well I love these cookies but yeah so that is my Saturday I don't know if I'm gonna pick the camera back up after I um edit this and get this up I'm the only one here um yeah I, sh I need to wash uh, brushes but I don't know if that's gonna happen either way I'll see y'all in the next clip Hey y'all, I let them go into GameStop. I just, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> I did my best this morning with getting ready to go to work, um, go to church because I woke up with a headache, but um, I was determined to be in the house, okay? And it was first Sunday, no ma'am. I was going to church today. I didn't care if I was, looking, I didn't care about nothing. I was gonna be in the house. Um, and I'm glad I did. Um, I don't have a headache anymore. I had to force myself to eat something, of course, cause that helps with the whole headache thing. And then also, um child i struggled doing my hair today because just touching touching any piece of anything on my head okay any lock of hair any strand of hair okay it just it made it hurt worse right because you know it's all in your head you know you're bothering your hair anyway i just wanted to share um um church service today it was when i tell y'all it was so good it was it was so good the message uh was basically you know just about it came from mark uh 14 and 27 and we'll start at 26 they're on their way the disciples are on their way to mount olive with jesus and and then it goes into peter's denial and how um you know peter said that he would never deny christ and all the you know the you know and all the other disciples they felt the same way of course you know and and of course we would feel that way right like like you still do the same thing that Peter did just in different kind of ways and it was just a really good message especially for it to um just in general but it, it you know falling on first Sunday communion Sunday and it really um it really I think for me um just helped me to to one I'm always trying to you know when I pray before I read the Bible I ask God to show me me in his scriptures right because it's easy to pray it's easy to read the Bible and then judge them I, I've done it especially with Eve like girl the fruit the fruit on that tree wasn't that good okay <laughs> but 
um that's not the point the point is to lord it's, it's loud out here what's going on the point is to you know to read it and to see yourself like yes they're being exposed because it's you know we're, we're we're in this part of history where we get to read about it but um we do the same things we do the same exact things if not why would he have to have why would jesus have to have died the way that he died for all of us it was for all of us right and so i just want to it was just a good reminder like when you read the scriptures to read the scriptures and see yourself in the scriptures you know and not in a way where you feel condemned or or, or you feel guilt because that's not of god that's the devil but for you to feel convicted because the word teaches us right and convicts us to do to do better to you know god is holy he calls us to be holy the end and, it, and we have everything that we need to be that um and we can't do it without him if, if we could do it without him there would be no reason uh for you know the crucifixion or the resurrection of christ and um thank god for it but i just wanted to go ahead and share that with y'all because it was it was a really good reminder <clears throat> it was also nice being able to go up to i wanted to so bad last week but i i had an energy okay <laughs> and I couldn't move quick anyway. So, um, but I was able to go to the altar. You know, we did prayer at the altar, which is so nice. It's just something about kneeling at the altar and praying. That's totally different. You know, even though I pray at home. Um, and it's just like when you kneel at the altar and pray too. Because my knees, when I'm home, I don't know about y'all. Okay, but these knees, honey these knees child especially if i'm in the living room thank god for the living room because i will take a whole i will take a couch pillow like the ones that we lean against the part of the couch not like the little throw pillows child i will put the whole long thing on the floor and kneel or if i'm in my room my back pillow that y'all usually see me sitting on the bed with is black i will flip that over to the, the back the padded side and kneel. it's like when i'm home my knee be like especially the one that i tore my meniscus and it has all the problems but when i'm in the house and i go to kneel um you know at the altar i don't ain't no problems okay sis sis will be down there okay for a while and so i just i it's something about kneeling in the altar i'm a i'm you know we old school you you know at the altar everybody there was no there was no you have a choice it's altar call you all come <laughs> So that was, um, it was just nice to be able to do that and to be able to do it with my husband as well. Um, because it's just been a while where we've been able to go up there together. Because sometimes you don't need it. Sometimes, so, I mean, well, I guess I take that back. We all need it. I just don't be going up as much as he be going up. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all today. I hope y'all having a happy Sunday. I'm so glad that the sun came out. Um, I'm probably going to stop by TJ Maxx um, to because I need some eye mask. I need, once I take this off, because I'm looking a mess, um, there is mascara like everywhere. There's like mas <laughs> mascara flakes everywhere, child. Like black marks, child. Big old cry baby. But I, I don't have any eye mask and I really, I enjoy putting eye mask on. So I need to go, I know I'll find some in Marshalls and TJ Maxx. You always gonna find them there. there. There's the action figure, there's a comic book. Okay. Yeah. She loved comic books and graphic novels. Oh, I see you got your micro player. So to the thing. The Street mm -hmm. Fighter. I know you guys, maybe you guys played it when you guys were kids, I think. Because <laughs> they have played it before. Yeah. That was, that was a, a really good game, too. Mm -hmm. It looks fun. Yeah. Okay. It's like an arcade, but it's really small. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a small arcade game. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like... We're gonna do a quick little haul y'all so i did find so these are the eye masks that i found there are 12 in here uh three of each one uh rose three have rose hip and retinol another three have collagen and hyaluronic acid and then the peptides and peptides and vitamin c so uh can't beat that and this was for 4.99 so yeah that's what i was looking for i had a made, made a beeline i was not trying to look at anybody's bags okay so <laughs> we got that and then of course i was able to find one of these so we got these and i am looking forward to the, i miss wearing a wash and go but it was too cold so i haven't had it in a while so i'm looking forward to that and then y'all yeah, know 
I know how I feel about bags. So then we have this. This is so cute. I could not leave that there with the lips. So cute. You see all the sparklies? Yeah, so this was $5.99 and I need to do a what's in my bag. And the bag that I am looking forward to using, I think this will be perfect in. So y'all see this again soon because I use my stuff, okay? <laughs> um, and then I saw this, so I decided to go ahead and give this a try. It reminds me of, are they trying to dupe Sunday Riley? Because I feel like the packaging, I don't know. But anyway, so I picked this up because I thought that it was the pink bottle that caught me, y'all. The pink and gold. But this is, or it was $6.99. So yeah, I picked that up to try as well. And we have these little uh, thank you cards that I got for uh, $4.99. Um, I picked these up. Autumn got a birthday card in the mail from our church. And every opportunity I have for her to be able to mail something, I want to use because, you know, back in the day when I was younger, when we was younger, um, well, I know when I was in elementary school, we had pen pals, so you knew how to, you know, write and receive correspondence through the mail, but that's something that you have to actually do, you know, to teach kids, so she's excited about it. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to let her write whatever she wants to write and go, you know, to the post office, get the stamp, do all the things. So yeah, that's why I picked this up. It was really, really cute too. It's got the envelopes and these little stickers, but anyway, y'all, we are on the road. Hold on. My light is blinking. We are on the road. Uh, Bay wants to go out to eat. So, amen, okay? Because I'm hungry. Food ain't done. I don't have to cook. Um, and then the, the game is tonight, too. So, that's exciting. I'm sure um, it's going to be packed because it's, you know, afternoon and everything. But I'm just happy I don't got to cook. So, we're going to go. We're going to the Chinese buffet. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here because <laughs> um, I, my battery is blinking and I don't have a choice. I could vlog my phone, but I don't like it. And I don't have the necessary like little tool to, to use it to clip it on the little gimbal. So anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to do all the things like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.